Now that we understand what Windows Installer is and have our lab set up, it's time to start diving into MSI databases. An MSI contains all the information Windows Installer needs for installing or uninstalling an application or a product and for rolling the graphical interface for the user. For example, if we open up this VLC MSI and have a look over it, we can see that the database tables exist and they are populated with the necessary information for the installation and uninstallation of this package. An MSI relies on features and components. Without them, you cannot perform any changes on the system, meaning that you cannot install anything. So, what are these features and components? A feature represents a functional part of a package, which can be independently installed regardless of the entire application. The specific feature tables allocated towards Windows Installer are Feature and Feature Component. The Feature table defines the logical structure of the features. In this table, you can find how features are related in the columns Feature and Feature Parent, the title of the feature and its description in the Title and Description columns, and the level of the feature's installation. A feature can have many sub-features. The dependency between sub-features and the parent features is the following. If a sub-feature is set to be installed, the parent feature will be automatically installed at the same time. But if the parent feature is set to be installed, it is not mandatory for the sub-feature to be installed. The Features Components table defines the relationship between features and components. For each feature, this table lists all the components that add up to a feature. Basically, Features Components table maps what components belong to a certain feature. A component represents the base unit of a package, a piece of the application or product that will be installed. The components contain a file or group of files, COMs, registries, shortcuts, and so on. They are hidden from the user. When a user selects to install a feature, Windows Installer determines which components to be installed to produce that feature. Windows Installer always installs or uninstalls a component as a whole piece. It monitors each component on the base of its GUID ID specified in the component table. To better understand what I just said, let's create a new MSI project in Advanced Installer and see how these features and components work. So, if we create an empty MSI and go to the Organizations page, we can see that it already has a main feature and two components, the App Deer and Product Information. The App Deer component is placed there automatically by Advanced Installer so that the installation directory is created. The Product Information component is another automatically created component which contains some registry. If we navigate to the registry page, we can see that Advanced Installer places some generic registry in order for you to identify the package. But let's say we want another feature. So let's go back to the Organizations page and add one. Right-click Product and select New Feature. And let's call it Feature 2. Cool. So, we have a new feature. Let's go to Files and Folders page and add a new file. I'm gonna add it somewhere in Program Files. Now that we added our file, you can see on the top Move to Feature. Click on it and select Feature 2. Now that we navigate back to the Organizations page, we can see that the new component which contains the file has been added under Feature 2. Cool, right? Advanced Installer takes care of the database tables for you and also applies best practice rules every time you do something in the graphical user interface. The end goal is to minimize possible user errors and save time. I'm gonna do a quick change on the dialogs so that when we install the package, the graphical user interface asks us what features to be installed. For more information regarding dialogs, I will leave a link in the description. Now, let's build the MSI and try to install it. Now we reach the dialog where we select the features to be installed. By default, they are set to install, but let's say I don't want the file to be copied, so I deselect the feature 2, 
or if I don't want the registry, I deselect the main feature. So, in essence, this is what features and components do. Features give you the possibility to break your application in multiple pieces and let the user decide what he wants to be installed. And the components are the actual files, registry and comms, which are placed on the machine according to the feature they are assigned to. In the next video, we will have a closer look at files and how they are managed in MSIs.